Hi, everybody. So I've noticed a trend that's been going around with YouTube lately, and that is more and more people who are quitting their nine to five jobs and are starting a YouTube channel and just saying to heck with it, <laughs> we are going to take the plunge and we're going to see if we can make a living with this social media platform. And it's not 20 year olds that I see doing this. These are people that are my age who are in their 50s, who are burnt out in corporate America and who are saying, you know what? I've heard from all these young people that they are making a great living on YouTube and so people will put out these videos. I am here to tell you to start your YouTube channel. If you are out there, it doesn't matter if you're... 18, 15, 12, 80, 90, I am seeing, I saw a YouTube channel today where a gentleman, it just came up in my feed, he's 80 and started his YouTube channel and it's growing. How I am exiting the rat race so that I can maintain and have a free rest of my days on this planet and be happy. And if you don't like how I'm doing it, well, go to another channel or go do your own. But do not come and tell the person who is doing something that it's not going to work when you haven't even tried it yourself. And they are resonating enormously. I mean, I have obviously looked at these videos and I can understand why they resonate. I myself got burnt out at the beginning of January 2024. And I will admit, and I am a professional, I am a registered nurse, I had no patients on the floor. I had been with the company, uh, the healthcare system for an extended period of time and I got extremely burnt out and I walked away from my job. I literally walked away from my job one day. And the most amazing part of this and my biggest secret about this is that very day I went live and it was just very shortly after that that I became monetized with YouTube. I had already submitted a lot of the paperwork in order to have the process started because that's one of the things that people had recommended people to do. And so I had, I had started it. Another reason that my content looks a little bit different today is previously I made reactions and now I'm making a little bit more commentary. I am somebody who's training to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and so uh, I have a, a little bit of a different interest and also I'm getting different opportunities too and one of them I'm about to put on because this is the reason why I have nothing on my face. First thing I'm going to be putting on is a serum from a company and I'm going to do my fancy thing from the name of a company by the name of Banish and these are actually made in small batches here in the United States in California they are cruelty free this one is vegan it is a vitamin C and E concentrate you just need a few drops they do recommend using it the evening I'm going to be using it in the day today just because I am going to be doing the ceramide and retinol tonight uh, from now until the end of the year I am going to be using these Banish products just to to kind of see how they are. I love doing self-care. I'm going to put the uh, links down below. There's going to be some great Black Friday deals. If you use the code VIBE5, you get $5 off any $50 order. Put a few drops of here on this and we'll continue with the conversation. <laughs> does not have a strong scent. It glides on really nicely, actually. Now, I do have to be careful around my nose. I'd had a big surgery 
And this was part of this uh, burnout. I myself um, did try to have a channel and I was hoping that my experience as a registered nurse, I could use that experience, but in a slightly different way, other than just making medical content, talking about disease processes or talking about the nurse life because I understood that there were already a lot of channels that um, had that type of content on TikTok and it really wasn't seemingly content that tended to, to work on the YouTube platform. Okay, my next step from this company, and this was all sent to me to try um, out. So this is my first like delve into really being uh, an influencer. <laughs> uh, the next thing I'm gonna put on is the vitamin C cream. And this has alpha, uh, or butin in it, which actually is a uh, natural hydroquinine product, which helps with uh, dark spots. It also has licorice and vitamin C, so it's brightening. Show that the, the right way. It is also appropriate for more mature skin, like my 55 year old skin. So like I said, till the end of the year, we're gonna give this a try. So they say just a pea sized amount, you can use it day and night. It does need to be kept in a cool, uh, cool dark place. Uh, the containers are glass. They do have a recycling program too. Um, it's kind of exciting because I love skincare. I'm not gonna lie. Skin is the largest organ in your body. If you ask any of my friends, I know I was bad. They, sorry, I put my hands are clean. I should have used my spoon. Sorry, that was bad. <laughs> it feels great going on. Um, I will be putting an SPF on after this. But this one is vegan, cruelty free, all small batched. I'm excited. I love skincare. It's uh, all my friends will tell you that. And then lastly, uh, we're going to put on the, the eye cream, which comes with this little scoop here. This is not vegan. It is cruelty free, but there is beeswax in the uh, eye cream. And we're going to be putting that on. I'm excited to see if, if how my skin looks. <laughs> Now, I am realistic. I do, you know, know that really big transformations uh, to the skin, like if I really wanted to get rid of these jowls, are going to come through having a facelift. But we do have their microneedling kit. I'm just going to grab this real quick behind me. And we are going to be giving this a try. It has been approved by a lot of dermatologists and doctors. Um, it's very important to use it only for the number of times that they say because the needles obviously can become dull and to follow obviously all the routines for keeping the needles clean and so forth. But I am excited to give that a try. So I am going to be trying that out. And that is supposed to help with collagen production and then the eye cream. Okay, back to topic on hand, seeing all of these different channels that have suddenly sprung up. Now YouTube did change the number of subscribers that you need to have and that is gone from a thousand down to 500. I just hope that those who are making these decisions to quit their jobs obviously have larger game plans. Obviously we are living longer and so I would want people to obviously make good financial decisions. I know that my friends had their concerns about me because I had to take time out of my work life in order to actually start to feel better because I was really not well. And I talked about it quite a lot. I ended up on medications to get better for an extended period of time. I feel like I'm switching over and uh, feeling better. Now they do recommend, I'm just gonna say about these products, to keep everything in a cool dark place. And so, and so I have, if you see behind me, one of those little tiny mini refrigerators. And so I, it's probably a lot, um, going to make sure that I keep these products inside that fridge so that I can keep them good as long as possible. Now I do notice there's a lot of cream inside that lid, so I don't, I'm not gonna waste that. They do have one of those recycle programs as well, where if you send in five containers, um, I believe you get like some type of free product in exchange for that. The eye cream came with these adorable little socks too that you can wear 
to your yoga pilates around the house whatever you want to do and we have other products to try too the ceramide and retinol and like i said the microneedling kit so i'm gonna try this out it's winter time here in virginia and so i'm excited to see how this works for my skin because i have not tried really new skin sorry i keep putting it on the <laughs> sorry i am Oh my gosh, you think at this age I know better. I like to use my the the finger just very lightly to, to dab, 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 dab. Okay, that put. Now I will be, like I said, having to put on an SPF. I will be um, showing you the results of my skincare throughout the next few months and we'll see how it goes. They have some fantastic sales for Black Friday. They have already started. So if you want to join the skincare journey with me and see if it actually helps improve your skin, you know, click the links down below, check it out. I'm going to be doing all sorts of things to see if it helps my neck. I'm sitting here totally makeup free to show the honesty in that. And I think that's one of the things is that when people are making the decision to come onto YouTube and to come onto the platform, it's very important, I think, to have a level of expertise. Now, a lot of the channels that are very successful are ones that people can share things within their hobbies that can help people learn things. I know that I have taken advantage of the channels to learn how to put my <laughs> air conditioning system. <laughs> I fix my own air conditioning system. I put in my own flooring thanks to YouTube. I have watched many a lecture. I love to watch Ninja Nerd. There are so many different types of resources that that are provided on YouTube. And that's kind of where I find myself as somebody who is a mental health professional and somebody who wants to provide content that is of value to somebody. Also take opportunities to share things that come my way as a creator, like sharing these bandage products. I do believe is strongly mental health and self-care go hand in hand. And that one of the things that people should always do when they're having tough times is take care of themselves as an individual. And so I think in the winter time, it can be particularly Particularly difficult. So that's one of the reasons why I am also encouraging the self-care journey. I think we've been through a lot lately. And so I would always say male, female, whatever you identify, I think it's really important that you just take care of yourself. And I think that if you are embarking in a different stage in your career, that obviously taking care of yourself is going to be very important. I don't know if it's just like I said, if it's something that I am noticing because I am getting it through my algorithm uh, because I happen to have stumbled upon content and it just kind of the way that YouTube algorithm works. Or is that really more people are starting to feel burnt out in their jobs in their 50s and instead of thinking a couple of more years to hang in, which people would have traditionally maybe had felt when the retirement age was at 62 and now it then moved to 65 and now I think they're sort of shifting that bar over to 67 years old that people are not feeling like they could hang in there and continue with their job as it is and wait to, for that retirement and the pension and the social security and everything that comes along with that and just hang in there to 62 because now the goalpost is sitting at 67 and even 72 here in the United States to really get that I think the most in social security if that system remains the age will be 72 the people who are embarking upon this journey because there's so many channels that are just I see and this concerns me as somebody who's in mental health because I don't want people putting either their expectations up too high because they get an initial algorithm hit from YouTube. They suddenly see this huge amount of money coming in. I haven't had that happen, by the way. Maybe that's what's kept me safe. But seeing a huge, you know, nice little payday come in from that because maybe it has allowed them to suddenly hit enough subscribers, enough watch time hours that it tips them into that monetization. Maybe they do get a little opportunity to get that benefit of that big number of views from that particular video. And suddenly it's like, yes, you know, let's go ahead. Let's, let's do this. Let's get this channel going. They start to put their heart and soul into it. And then in reality, their content does not continue to resonate with people. 
And then the views for watch time falls, the monetization and the money that people are making falls. And it just sort of ends up making somebody actually feel very disappointed in themselves. So I think once you come onto a platform like this and you open yourself up to criticism and you open yourself up to the glare of other people and you open yourself up to potentially disappointment after a initial success, then I think that's very realistic. I think what isn't realistic, and even I've been in some ways had my own sort of little YouTube fantasies, is that it is going to potentially replace a uh, full-time income. I think it does take a lot of years and it takes a certain type of content in order to do that. I would like anybody to uh, put their comments down below if you have ever felt just so burnt out that you just want to start your YouTube channel and forget about uh, anything else you've got going on in life and just say, hey, the heck with it. I have enough expertise and things of interest that I can share that I am going to open up my YouTube channel. Now, the term burnout actually was originated in 1974 by a gentleman by the name of Herbert Freudenbergen, I believe that's correct, and he coined the term around obviously burning out within the workplace. So it's when a person becomes disinterested in their work, they are starting to get chronic fatigue from going in. It is not a medical condition, it's more of a, I guess, a syndrome if you may. It's not recognised uh, by any medical societies at this time and I know burnout is not included in the DSM-5 which is the manual that we use within the psychology and psychiatric health care field in order to help us with diagnosing our patients. But I think it's very interesting to see, as I said, how many channels are starting because of people feeling that they want to take the opportunities of being a creator I think a lot of people from what I'm sort of seeing are creating content where they are talking about how to monetize from YouTube and then I think maybe potentially there the hope is that they can create courses to sell to their audiences about how they can start a YouTube channel. I also kind of seeing potentially people wanting to do consulting work, maybe charging people to to talk to people about how to start a YouTube channel. And I can promise you, having been a creator and having been monetized for almost, uh, it's probably been at least a good 10 months now, and maybe a little bit more, that you do not need to pay for any type of course. You do not need to try to pay. And I'm not trying to hit into these people's sources of income, but I'm just saying that if you are feeling that you want to start a channel, there are so many channels that just give this information out for free because that's what's going to be their views. I don't think you necessarily need to talk to people. I think sometimes these channels even have live streams where you can talk to people directly. So I, I just want people to be cautious and aware. I think that is prudent advice for me as a healthcare professional because I recently ended my channel memberships due to the fact that I see this channel kind of taking a different direction now and uh, I want to make sure that I'm not mixing the idea of taking money for channel memberships and then doing things like showing products where I obviously will earn monies with my affiliate links. I going to be completely honest about that. I would love to hear your thoughts down below about whether or not you've been noticing that there are more and more people over the age of 50 who are starting to get into the realm of YouTube. I've started to see more channels encouraging people and it's really because it's getting more people to watch their channels too. But I think it's very important when you do start your channel that you do think of a game plan. Remember quality over quantity. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I try to remember that myself and my commentary. Make sure that you are paying your bills, you are meeting your obligations, you're not going to be adding any additional stresses. YouTube can be just as much work as a regular job. I can let you know that I've spent a lot of time when it comes to preparing a background or trying to even set up this camera today or getting lighting, getting a microphone, getting StreamYard, getting the different YouTube premium so I wouldn't have ads running when I was doing reactions, uh, which I really still benefit from that. So I'm not going to get rid of that. There are just so many different other things. And so I guess I'm taking the perspective as somebody who has been a creator in the space who has enjoyed a small amount of success just to be cautious. Be cautious when you have people reaching out to you. Be cautious of the comments that you may receive in your inbox. Just be cautious that this time of year, YouTube pays a little bit more on its AdSense. So it may be that you are seeing a revenue that is not going to be sustained in the new year. YouTube has fluctuations in what it pays. And so some of these newer creators who are hoping to walk people through becoming content creators may have limited experience in the creator game as themselves. So just be very cautious of that as you kind of work your way through this medium. I do always want people to be weary of anybody who is offering you anything that sounds too good to be true. Let me know what you uh, think about all these new creators coming in. Have you noticed there are more people over the age of 50 who are saying that they are quitting their nine to five jobs and are going to be starting a career on YouTube? Those who are saying they are quitting their nine to fives and are ready to retire and are ready to start their YouTube channels. Are you somebody who has thought about starting your own YouTube channel? Is that something that has caused you a certain amount of curiosity? Have you felt that you've got something that you want to share? Do you have expertise, advice, areas of interest that you think that could be beneficial to those on the YouTube platform? I'm just always fascinated with the world that YouTube does create. I do wish all of these new channels the greatest success. I hope they will be able to find their niches, their communities. I'm hoping that they will obviously always protect and care for their mental health as they navigate through this platform because people can be somewhat interesting in the comment section. So just be aware of that. My name's Ray. This is my channel Life and Vibe. If you do like this type of content, I'm somebody who talks about different types of mental health topics and I also try to talk about topics about trying to take care of yourself as I show you how I take care of myself a little bit. If you want to check Banish out, give them a try. Links down below. I did want to say that obviously they are affiliate links, so I do get a commission for anything that you do purchase through these links. And I'm very happy to say that. Use the code VIBE5. That's going to get you $5 off any order, $50 or more. They have all sorts of wonderful Black Friday sales going on. They're already on. Go check it out. And if you do decide to try it, let me know. And you can join me on this journey as I try to see how my skin looks. So I winterize my skin until the end of the year. Need to get my dog, Junebug, out for a walk. I got some schoolwork I need to get finished. I need to edit this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!